take it over you got my soul nobody gonna tell me different you Hi Pisces, you guys, I'm so excited today for you. You're getting a bonus later today. Um, and we will be doing a bonus reading with a celebrity. So you guys make her feel welcome this afternoon. All right. I love you, Pisces. I hope you guys enjoy these readings, okay? Um, it is a special time, you know, Jupiter um coming in and out of Pisces all year. So it's really gonna be abundant year for Pisces. Um all signs really but i just i feel so connected to you guys right now i don't know why I just there's the energy is just very vibrant it's very abundant okay um we have the king of pentacles coming out first you guys first and foremost those of you who are new um stick around for the free personal readings okay i am going to give you guys two free personal readings and i'll let you know how to do that so stick around please okay um like this video please like the video you guys and um if you also have not checked out and this goes for everybody um, your 2022 forecast, okay, this is the predictions for 2022 for each sign. It is in the featured video section of the channel, all right? So just go over to the front of the front page of the channel, and right there you'll find a um, featured video with the 2022 predictions, okay? Um, it's, in the, it's in the link description um, below the video, okay? Um, as well as the comment section, so you'll find it there, okay, you guys? Let's, let's get started with your reading. If it doesn't resonate, check your moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Oh, my goodness, Pisces. I'm so excited. I'm a little nervous because we're going to do a live reading. It's, I'm, I'm a little scared, you guys. <laughs> Let's jump into your reading. We have the six of wands. This is how you're being seen, Pisces. Oh, I just got hot. Twin flame energy. All through my kundalini. All through my chakras. Okay. I just got really hot, you guys. I don't know why. Um, let's keep going. Oh, honey. Oh, 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 oh. Somebody has walked away from someone here. I am getting the energy is very strong. The number six, okay, with the energy of the number six is very strong, very family-oriented energy. How you're being seen is the three of wands and the six of wands, babe. Oh, my God. So, abundance. You guys, Six of Wands is victorious. Okay, this is like, um, yeah, I'm getting to you wanting to work alone, Pisces. I think that would be a great idea for a lot of you. Okay. Um, also, you know, look at where you have Jupiter in your um, in your chart. All right. I know you guys are Pisceans, so you already got that right there. You already got that trining. That energy is trining right now in the Ju the si I'm, I'm sorry, it's Jupiter is trining. Pisces right now the, the energy is very harmonious okay expansion is very um prominent in Jupiter so look at where your Jupiter is all right I have Jupiter 12th house you guys yes I do right there in my north node with Aries those of you who are astrologers tell me a little bit <laughs> tell me a little bit about myself I think you guys are gonna be so happy to share. I mean, again, I really need you to get out of that pessimistic attitude, um, the mindset, lose it, okay? I don't know why I'm hearing it. Somebody needs to lose it, lose it, because this is your year, baby, all right? Let me go ahead and jump in and uh, read these cards for you. Wow, Pisces, this is your year, man. This is how you're being seen, okay? You got the three of wands. This is about someone waiting for the ships to come in. This is how you're being seen at this time. A lot of you, the king of the knight of pentacles in reverse have moved away from people uh moved away from collaborating with others not wanting to work with others i'm hearing for some of you it is just because you have these ideas you're trying to protect at this time okay you do too you do do oh shit you do do <laughs> you do do oh my god oh my god you have the knight of swords in reverse and the knight of pentacles so both of them are in reverse it definitely is a strong indication that you are moving away from these connections you have three sixes in your reading no it is not the devil okay but it is a very family oriented number you have a six of pentacles which is very 
um, lucky. I feel for you very abundant because you're able to give back to your community. You could be dealing with a Virgo for some of you. The Virgo, it, the energy of Virgo is very present here. Interesting enough, the Pisces reading we're doing today is with a Virgo. The celebrity is a Virgo, you guys. So um, please, that's a sign. You guys go watch. You guys tune in. If you do nothing else today, watch that freaking video, okay? Because we're going to go in. I'm sure she's got a lot prepared for you. So, um, it's not going to be like any other reading you've ever had, okay? But yeah, with the Six of Wands in the position of how you're being seen with the Three of Wands combination, it does speak to being validated, okay? Um, you guys are going to get a lot of acknowledgement for your work. It's talking about you killing everything, just running through, I'm hearing running through all the levels and just annihilating, beating them. There's nothing stopping you, okay? Um... It says killing the game with no shame. It's victorious energy, okay? You are on fire right now, Pisces, and there is no stopping you. People are taking, taking notice of you. They're taking notice of your success, acknowledging you for your talents. Now, this is not now, and you're feeling pessimistic. You guys, I'm telling you, get out of that. Please get out of that because I'm getting a lot of energy coming towards you that's going to be very po positive, abundant. There's a lot of people who are seeking you at this time. I'm getting you're very sought after. If this isn't happening right now, get ready after your season because your season is coming i know i skipped straight over aquarius right but i just i'm so excited for you pisces i'm so excited for you because jupiter is 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 in your sign you understand that is your house that is your that's its natural your natural rulership and not only that you have neptune energy in that and like even though it's not neptune is not in the mix neptune energy is still present because you are ruled by neptune the, the planet of dreams illusions you can create anything with your mind. You understand that. So please do just lose the pessimism. Be positive. Believe. That is your that is your slogan. That's your mantra. I believe you gotta do it, Pisces. All right. Um, you're getting acknowledged for your talents, okay? Despite all the challenges, there but your guys right now, your the spirit, spirit realm is really wanting you to acknowledge. The things you've went through, it's really built you up to this point. It's really prepared you for who you are today, okay? Um, a lot of you guys are going to get, I am getting, you're going to be tested, okay? It's going to, it's going to, there's going to be one last test. It's, it's meant to trigger you. Don't fall for it. I'm hearing that. I'm hearing don't fall for it. It's a test. One last test before you get your abundance, okay? I'm getting a lot of love here from this from the planet Jupiter. You're being you are being praised, okay? Um, it's talking about you being on top of the world, okay? You are in the right place, you're in the right time, okay? This energy is about you skyrocketing straight to the top. For a lot of you guys, it's gonna seem unbelievable because it's like um one minute you're you're rich, or one minute you're poor, and then the next minute you're rich. Because you got the Six of Pentacles and the Six of Wands in your reading. It's definitely telling me that there's something around community, helping others, starting maybe a nonprofit. For others of you, I am getting that you could be connecting to your opposite Virgo energy, which is Sixth House. Um, there's a need to collaborate with this person. You guys are really, I'm getting you're a good team. You're, you, work, you work well together, okay? If that's not them, I'm getting it to Taurus, okay? For some of you, I'm hearing a Gemini. Oh no, somebody says, I don't get along with the Gemini. Well, some of you don't, but there is someone here very specific. I am getting it that you have like Capricorn in your moon or your rising and you do get along with Gemini. I don't know who you are, okay? Um, I don't know where that came from. It just came out of nowhere. All right. <laughs> Sometimes I think it comes out of nowhere and then people are like, it didn't, it didn't, okay? You you know something, you know something, okay? Anyways, let's go ahead and go back, okay? We're talking about remembering our um, setbacks. Let's talk about remembering our setbacks. Remember the things that were meant to break us and to keep us down. Those things do not break you, Pisces, okay? You're getting the praise, you're getting the rewards and the recognition. Um, this is only the beginning. Just understand something. This is only the beginning. This the way it's positioned in the position of how you're being seen. With the three of wands, you, are not, you haven't even started yet. You, I'm like laughing. You haven't even begun, okay? Remember to take a moment and look back at where you came from, Pisces. Remember where you once were and where you are now. It's very important. Perspective will keep you grounded from all of the newborn attention you're getting. Be proud of yourself, though, okay? You guys celebrate yourself. You do deserve the success and so much more, okay? Um, let's jump in. Let's look at the Six of Pentacles because I really like this for you. Whenever you have enough to give, it tells me you are in a place of abundance. It tells me you guys are very successful. Um, you're not only changing your life, but 
the lives of others. You're helping in raising the vibration of the collective. Therefore, you are healing yourself, okay? I feel like, you know, when we give to ourselves, yeah, that's great, that's beautiful, but when you help others, it it like it ignites all of your chakras. It makes you feel so good and fuzzy inside. You know what I mean? Right? Yes, that, that, that card is all about giving and receiving. It's about flow. It's about prosperity. Oh my God, the word flow is here. I can't get enough. I was just saying like today is the day. We're going to do it. And I'm nervous because I never did lives before. So you guys, please bear with me. I'm so fucking nervous. But um, the, yeah, the word flow is right here. Yes, her name is Flo and she is a celebrity and she will be doing your reading later today. It is going to be your book. And it, ugh an extension, somewhat of an extension of this reading, okay? Um, giving, re giving and receiving are in divine balance at this time, creating a harmonious flow, okay? There it is again. Gener generosity fills your soul as you realize sharing your wealth with others is much more fulfilling than keeping it to yourself. You may feel inclined to donate to a charity, give back to your community, or loan money to a loved one, trusting that you have more than enough to give. I love this. Um, some of you could be investing in another person's organization. The fact that you're even in this position, it really speaks volumes, Pisces. Like you are going to be in a position of power. There's a need to be humble. There's a need to um, embrace and love who you are. Love and be proud and also humble yourself because there is so much power there. I feel like you guys are in a position to really help a lot of people at this time. And whether this be now or the end of the year, whenever you find this video, okay, um, you could be in a really powerful position and this is telling you it's it's a good idea, okay? Um, they're saying too, with this, you know, Jupiter, um, I am getting karma, okay? So there's a lot, of, you guys are getting good karma also. I'm getting a lot of receiving for all of the giving you've done. So a lot of you could be receiving a lot of abundance from other people. People want to patronize you. They're looking up to you. They can't believe that. First of all, I'm getting someone has googly eyes. <laughs> Who's that? Who's got googly eyes? Somebody's got googly eyes for um, the Pisces. Um, it's a Taurus. Okay, I heard Scorpio. A Leo. Yeah, they got googly eyes. They feel like very connected to you. Um... They understand like you're you're not interested in working with them right now or you're not really um you're focused on something around money. A lot of you are focused on your work, you're focusing on your art, and I think that's a great idea, you know. Um also you could be waiting for something to happen. You could be waiting for to hear back. I'm hearing hear back from somebody about your business or about something some sort of project that has to get off the ground. Um this project is going I'm getting messages here with the Prince of, Princess of Pentacles. Um this person this is how they feel about you too. This is, they're getting messed. I'm hearing you. They're coming in. They want to message you about something. They, this person, oh man, this is someone who you used to collaborate with. They're showing me it's someone who you used to work with. They used to be, okay, you guys used to be really close. You guys collaborated. I don't know. There may be a fallout. Not a fallout. I'm not getting anything like that. I'm just hearing like you guys got separated somehow there, there there is there is the there's an indication of someone crying or some sort of disappointment this person may come in with messages of um wanting to work with you or i'm also getting an offer something tangible they want to give to you pisces um for some of you it could be another water sign i'm getting fire there's a lot of that energy here fire is very present okay you have two energies around um you have two ener young energies princess princess of wands and the princess of pentacles along with the knight of swords and the Knight of Pentacles. So I'm getting like four people here. Um, three out of those four, only one person um, made the cut. Some of you could be instructors, I'm hearing. You're going to get a message from this person. This person was really hurting. They, I'm, I don't know why I heard Amer I don't know why I heard Next Top Model. Is it called America's Next Top Model? I don't even remember. I never watched it. But no offense. I'm just saying I just never watched it. Um, I heard that. Somebody's Somebody's crying. I don't know why I heard somebody's crying about this. Somebody's getting a, a, a contract. They're signing a contract here. There's some sort of agreement, okay, that did not go exactly as planned. Pisces, I feel like you're going to be the middleman for this. Ooh, Pisces. <laughs> Shit, watch out, okay? I'm getting you're like going to like settle this. Some of you guys, I don't know. For some of you, I'm getting legally you're settling this, okay, with the King of Pentacles. 
Um, you're not going to fail. They're saying you're going to win, okay, whatever this is. I don't know if you have, like, Libra highly aspected in your chart. I'm getting Libra house. Um, the number 11 is very significant. You could be born on the 11th, or you could have um, 11th house. Um, I'm sorry, not 11th house, but um, I'm hearing, oh, maybe you have 11th house in your um, 7th house. Maybe you have Aquarius in your 7th house, I heard, or Taurus in your 7th house. Also heard Scorpio or Libra, okay, which is its natural house. But I heard, yeah, somebody here is like working for the justice system and you're the middleman. You're like the middleman that between, you're standing between you, between this person and their um, lawyer or something. You could be a paralegal of some sort. I am getting for some of you, you could be the one that decides um, who signs this contract or if there are terms that need to be adjusted. So I don't know, maybe you're the you're the person who has to, I'm getting someone can't even talk to the other person without you. So there's something like that. Maybe you are a signer, maybe you're AS, is it ASL? Is it called ASL? Sign language. I'm hearing sign language. Somebody is speaking for the other person. You could be um, like bilingual or something like that. Like I'm hearing you are the one standing between this person's fate or something like that. Someone's fate, their money. Okay, very interesting. Okay, we're gonna jump into the Oracle message. I know, right? I'm excited, oh man. Pisces, you have a lot of people looking for you right now. There's, I'm getting like, okay, so some of you, there's an air sign or a Virgo, a Gemini, Gemini Libra Aquarius or Virgo who's seeking you. There's a, there's a need for, like, I'm getting for some of you, this is romantic, they're waiting. For messages from you or you're waiting for message, message, no, 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 messages from them this person waiting for you okay i'm getting pisces moon pisces moon baby oh shit all right let's go ahead and jump into the oracle message oh we have knowledge we have air spirit i like this for you pisces with the number one you are number one Say, I'm coming out, so you better get this party started. All right. Oh, my God. She's literally white. It's like she's literally riding a swan. And swans are very, you know what? There is actually a little pond by my house where there's two swans. They're so beautiful. And they've been there ever since I moved there. They've been here all these years, you guys. All these years. I've been here for over nine years. And the same swans are in that pond. They love each other. Okay, I don't know. For some of you, somebody is coming in with a message. They've been waiting for you, but they're getting antsy. They're getting antsy, all right? <laughs> so I got ants in my pants. Ants in my pants. I got ants in my pants. Ants in my pants. <laughs> Weirdo. What's wrong with me? I'm just so happy. I'm excited, you guys. I'm a little scared, but I'm excited. What did my daddy used to say? If you're ever scared and excited at the same time, do it. Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> Look it. I didn't even have to try to find the page. It just opened up for me. <gasps> Shut your face. Okay, so air spirit. Air spirit, knowledge. Okay, this is about your personal power. This is about all, of, all that you know. Okay, Pisces. As you stand in the center of the forest, it really does not look like a forest. It really looks like she's in the clouds somewhat and she's over top of the forest and it looks like the worlds are reversed it looks like the water's on top of the trees and the trees are under the water because that's a boat i'm pretty sure that's a boat i know that looks like she's riding a swan okay um and then also looks like she's following these bubbles i don't know like maybe i don't know why i'm seeing Somebody's following something. I am getting something about cryptocurrency. There is no bubble, baby. Okay? Bitcoin, there's no bubble. Somebody needed to hear that. There ain't no bubble, boo-boo. There's no bubble, okay? And no, do not come to me with any of your shit. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to know. I don't want to... I don't care. <laughs> don't ask me for advice. I don't have any for you, okay, about the market. But anyways... Um, yeah, but somebody needed to hear that. There's no bubble. Like, it's getting smaller and smaller is what I'm seeing. Like, the bubble, whatever you think it is, it's actually dissipating, okay? Um, I'm getting trillion. I'm hearing one trillion also. 
Okay, so I don't know what that's alluding to. Somebody could be a trillionaire. Somebody could become a trillionaire. And this year, very much, I am very possible. I know that people don't think that's doable, but it is, okay? As you stand in the center of the forest, a subtle breeze loving touch, lovingly touches your cheeks. I feel like that's spirit. Gentle gusts rustle the leaves above you as the spirit of air approaches upon your boat. Oh my God, of light and wind. In the quiet, oh sorry, the quietude, you sense the wind whispering messages to you from spirit. Okay, it's exactly what I thought it was. Uh, excuse me, you, you receive this card only when you need to think things through, Pisces. This is not the time to be impulsive. Okay. Oh my God. That's so funny. Cause that's the number one and that's Aries, right? They're, um, they're cardinals. They're the initiators and he's the first sign out. You could be dealing with an Aries, a fire sign who has a lot of air in the chart or an air sign with fucking Aries. And I'm sorry, an air sign with, um, fire. Okay. Um, but yeah, someone who's very, just fly off the handle. There's no time. There's just not a lot of time right now to sit and think, um, and weigh the pros and cons um, when it comes to making this decision. You do have all year because, you know, Jupiter is in and out of Pisces all year long. But Pisces, I feel like, you know, you need to get out of your... I don't think your problem is not rationalizing. It's more so not believing in yourself. Some of you can be pessimistic. That is your shadow side. Your shadow side... Um, your, your, your mantra is, I believe, right? So like your shadow side is very like, oh, I'm not, nobody cares about me. Nobody loves me. That's that energy. You got to get out of that fucking head. Get it out of your head like that. Please stop. Because what you're actually doing is creating that reality. You're creating that into you're bringing that into your life. And with the planet of expansion and abundance coming in, it's going to give you whatever it is you're focused on, Right. So you really need to, you need to get control of those thoughts, baby. I love you guys, okay? Um, if you made it this far, please go take advantage of your free personal readings. Yes, I'm sorry to keep you guys waiting. But you know, I just hate when people click off and go get their shit and they don't even like watch the reading. It just offends me. So I, I'm just going <laughs> to I know I'm being so petty, but I'm not. I feel like, yeah, go, like, yeah, go get it. But, you know, wait till the reading is done because you're really hurting my channel. You're actually hurting the algorithm. Yeah, the algorithm, like if you guys notice, like it's really affecting my channel. Like giving away free things is probably not the best thing, but I just love you guys, you know? And yeah, I do appreciate the love and the likes, you guys. I appreciate all the shares. If you do share, thank you very much, you guys. I appreciate it. It helps the channel so much. And thank you for supporting my babies, for real. Um, so you just need to like, okay, so with this card, it's just saying to think things through, but I feel that's not even your issue, Pisces. I just feel genuinely like it's about what you're thinking, right? Um, they want you to do your research, whatever this is about. I don't know, but um, do your research, listen to others, speak your truth, take time to weigh the pros and cons of a situation. It is an excellent time to begin a new venture, they're saying, okay? Or a project, it will, it will succeed as long as you are thoughtful, organized, and focused. I want to say positive, okay? There are, there is a, remark, a remarkable wellspring of wisdom within you, Pisces. Take a breath, slow and deep, and delve into the inner knowledge, okay, that you possess. It will guide you in the right direction. Air represents wisdom. I would say, yeah, well, air, yeah, I would say it, it does, okay. I'm seeing it. I'm kind of like thinking, no, maybe water does. But water does, I think water more so rules our feelings, our emotions, so yeah, maybe it does. Um, air represents wisdom, our mental activity, right? And our ability to reason. So um, I don't know if you have like air in your rising or like if you have air in your Mercury um, or Jupiter, just really focus on your thoughts and really ask yourself, are these thoughts manifesting what I want? Is it going to, is it going to be what I deserve? Because you know, if you're doing that to yourself and you deserve better, you're really cheating yourself, you guys. You're really hurting yourself. Um, I love you. I hope this reading helped you. I hope it uplifted you. It uplifted you in some way. I'm still a little congested. I'm sorry if I sound funky. Um, check advantage of your free personal readings. They're down below. They're the first two links. There's several others down there as well. For those of you who have already taken advantage of those, you have a bunch of new ones. I always put them at the top. Okay, so check those out. Um, you'll know which ones they are. Um, and if you're trying to book a reading with me, that's LeahSunPiscesMoon.Business.Site. You guys, I love you. Have a wonderful week. Namaste.